hello everyone okay let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly we have x over 2 multiply by x over 2 equals 2 over x this is simple x times x will give x to the power of 2 then 2 times 2 will give 4 this is equal to 2 over x at this point we can cross multiply so that we'll have x squared multiply by x to be equal to 4 multiply by 2 now x to the power of 3 is equal to 8 because 4 times 2 is 8 right now x to the power of 3 here is equal to 2 to the power of 3 so that what we have on the left and on the right will be in the same form to the power of 3 now ordinarily we are supposed to equate the basis seeing the powers are the same but then if we do that we'll not have the complete solution to the equation so we would have to bring this to the left we have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 to be equal to 0 so that here we apply difference of two cubes just like we normally apply difference of two squares and if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 do you know that this is a minus b multiplying a squared plus a b plus b squared do you know this because if you do not know this you will not be able to solve this into detail okay so now that you know this our x is a and our b is 2 let's put these two into this form x in place of a so we have x minus b is now 2 we'll close this and then the whole of this will multiply everything here but now x squared is a squared is x squared plus a b that will be x times 2 and it's 2x then um, we have plus b squared this b squared now will be 2 squared then we equate to 0 I believe you are getting this so we have x minus 2 again then here we will have x squared plus 2x plus 4 close the bracket and equate everything to 0 now what do I do we need to apply zero product rule since we are multiplying these two to get zero right if this is not multiplication you don't have to do what I'm going to do right but immediately you have to multiply these two to get zero you can do what I'm about to do so our x minus 2 is equal to zero or x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 okay so I've told you when and how you should do what I have done now x minus 2 from here plus 2 is equal to 0 I will come back to pick this after now right okay by the way I have added these two here right so that means it has to reflect on the other side because plus 2 is the additive inverse of minus 2. Now x will be equal to this will go with this. So that our x will be 0 plus 2. You may not know the additive inverse that I said. Additive inverse of a number is another number you multiply. I mean you add to the given number to get 0. For example the additive inverse of minus 2 is plus 2. Because if you add plus 2 to minus 2, it gives you 0. So plus 2 is the additive inverse. That's why I added to both sides. So that 2 minus 2 would leave here and go to the other side. So our x is now 0 plus 2. 
and that is 2, we have one of the solutions. And I'm going to pick this right away, x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. Okay, so this is the equation. And um, we have a to be 1, b to be 2, and c to be 4. Now, if you're not used to quadratic equation, if you have not um, been, you know, solving problems on quadratic equation, you might not get to understand this ABC. So the ABC here stands for the coefficient of x squared, coefficient of x, and the constant, respectively. Now, what is the formula for quadratic general equation? I mean, the formula for the general formula for quadratic equation is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So that x will now be in place of minus b, we have minus 2 plus or minus. This b squared becomes 2 squared, then minus 4 times 1 times 4. This is because a is 1, c is 4. Then we divide by 2 times 1. So our x is minus 2, plus or minus, we have 4, minus 16. This is because 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 1 times 4 is 16 2 times 1 is 2 so we divide by 2 okay so our x now will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 12 because 4 minus 16 is negative 12 and we still divide by 2 do not divide this yet okay because this division will also these two here will work for root negative 12 so x now is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 times square root of negative 1. We are dividing by 2 as well. So now our x will be negative 12 plus or minus square root of 4 times 3 times square root of negative 1. And we we'll divide by 2 um, by 2. Remember, 4 times 3 will give us the 12 there. So now, x will be minus 2 plus or minus. Square root of this 4 here is 2. Then we have root 3. Then multiply by square root of negative 1 is i divided by 2. Now, x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2i root 3. Okay, what I've done is to multiply this i by 2. We divide all of this by 2 again. Now, x is, this can go there, and we have minus 1, plus or minus. This again will go here, and we have just i root 3. So this is the solution. But this is a 2 in 1 solution. Let's bring the three solutions together. The first value, let's call it x1, and it's equal to 2, if you can remember. Then the second value, x2, is from here. Pick negative 1 plus i root 3. This is our second value, x2. Then the third value, x3, will now be minus 1 minus i root 3. So this has been completely solved.